Hello everyone, just we want to show you how to make a use of fake SD cards. Um, you don't need any special program other than H2W uh, software to identify the um, cap capability or capacity of the um, fake SD cards. These are two samples. Um, this is a 128, which I crossed it, 128 gig. SD card but it is fake and at the time I didn't realize this is fake as you can see um, it says Samsung 128 although I crossed it by a um, pen so I can remember this is a fake SD card but as, as you have got the wrong capacity for this SD card uh, you when you try to use it it will fail and this is the real one which is a 64 gig Samsung. It's the same, looks very similar. The only difference is um, from the appearance, the only way you can actually identify it um, as a sign that possibly your SD card is fake is the age of the SD card. And this SD card is, has got a white edge and this one has got a black edge. It seems I hear that is difficult for the fake SD card makers to make the edge white as well. So if you see a SD card, Samsung or any uh, authentic SD card with the black edge, you have to be very careful and try to um, test it before you um, accept the purchase, uh, especially from AliExpress or eBay or whichever online is. You can refund your money if you get a fake and you've got the evidence of showing it as a fake SD card. However, after being um, um, scanned by these scammers, um, I have got this SD card and uh, it, it is not 128 gig and it fails. But how do I make a use of this? How do I make this useful uh, to um, use it? You don't need any other specific software as you see in many YouTube videos and they waste your time. Download this program, download that program. You don't need any of those. It's very simple shrinking procedure that you can do in Windows and that will work. And I have done that already and I'll show you how it works. So very simple. You only need to download this software, which is the H2 Test W. And you can see it here as well. You just download this software. And this is for testing a capacity of your SD card. So, uh, of course, if you know it's fake, it's going to fail. And you need to um, use this software to find the capacity of your SD card. So after you run the test, you will get this uh, red screen here, which warns you that um, the SD card has got some problem. All you need to do, you have to wait until you see this line. For example, this is 29.4 gig, okay, and then it start giving you a warning that, you know, the remaining are not uh, verifying. In fact, it happens after verifying stage. So if you look at this um, image, it starts, you, you choose write and verify, and after writing, it starts verifying. And in the verify stages, that's when you get this um, uh, message. So using H to test W is just to find the real capacity of a SD card. So when you find that SD card capacity, that is very simple. Just record that because this is important to get the real uh, capacity of the SD card. If you if you use a little bit different in the in the following procedure, you use a, a bit different, especially if you use more than twenty nine point four. Still your test will fail and a still SD card is not going to work. So what we are trying to do, we try to make a use of the fake SD card so we can use the real capacity without any warning or without any uh, hassle and problems. So all you need to do is um, basically go to my PC, whichever um, version you are using. I'm using Windows 11 and you just go to the manage and you choose the um, uh, disk management. 
in disk management you will see that um, I will just turn this one on um, so this uh, the SD card will come up and it show me that it is not here yet so as soon as it recognizes the SD card it will come up Yeah, so my antivirus it recognized it it came up i named it as samsung 30 gig because i identified this is the 29.4 um, gig as we showed you here it is 29.4 gig uh, the capacity of this um, fake 125 gig uh, 120 gig um, stick card and it's got the samsung um, trademarks on it so um, go to the manage and we choose um, the disk management and as you can see this is where you see the SD card I have done this already but all you need to do here if you don't know how to do it you can send me a text and I will fill up a video for you but all you need to do is just to understand you actually um, it it is 100 it shows 125 gig altogether so what I have done I have deleted the whole partition so it was like a, a green color all of it and then I selected to for example here I can say simple uh, new simple volume so I created new simple volume with the size of 29.4 although here it just shows 28.71 is is being adjusted by the window itself but i have chosen exactly same um, amount of size i have seen here so it's just 29.4 gigabyte and i have selected that and uh, it came up to the uh, point and i formatted it and it identified 28.71 20, gig fat 32 you don't need to do anything of those videos they tell you in YouTube doing um, downloading this software um, format it to NTFS and then bring it back to FAT32 no you don't need to do any of those you only need to use H2 test W to make sure your, your, your SD card is fake and then you use it for finding the real size and then remaining Windows will um, fix it for you so in here you will see that um, this real size I have formatted to this size and I just ignored the part which is not shown in the capacity of the H2 test W. <clears throat> so all you need to do is just ignore this part, format your SD card to the size, to the real size and just ignore this part. You don't need to uh, make any partition of this and you only see this um, healthy logical drive of the size you manually identify there as as, uh, as soon as I have done that so I go to um, <clears throat> h2 test w again and I will test it all the way it will write and it will verify and it is absolutely warning free so I can use this fake 120 SD card as a card with 29 gig capacity and from now on, I, I know that my SD card is not going to fail. <clears throat> it can work on any device that I want to use. So therefore, I have marked it as 30 gig, so I can remember this is a fake, but it still is going to work. The chip inside the um, this SD card is, be, is, is being only 30 gig, but they when they manufacture it, they uh, fool the system and they put 120 gig capacity. Now you can use that as the size h2 test shows you and at least you can get some of your um, money lost back so do not throw your uh, fake sd cards away still you can use it i hope you you learned something and you enjoyed it if you need to ask any question about how to do the partitioning through windows and how to format it let me know i will drop a video for you thank you for watching we'll see you next time